Yeah, no, no, no crap 500. We're going in, man. We are going into Mount Fuji. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and today I am super excited to be checking out Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know much about this game, well, it is getting the highest ratings of any game this year thus far, and it is a long-standing simulation series uh, since 1982, to be more specific, and this is its newest installment. So, I am very excited about this. I am definitely not a good pilot, but I have been playing all day just to try and learn the basics, and we're just gonna have some fun today. We'll explore the world and see what we can do in this very, very beautiful game. Now, where are we right now? We're in Paris. And immediately, the thing I wanted to do in this game was try and fly through the frigging Eiffel Tower. So, of course, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna waste no time, get into the air, and see how we can do. Now, I am using a joystick, and I have been practicing, like I said, all day. So I actually kind of know how to fly, but I am definitely not skilled, so we'll see how we can do here, and <laughs> yeah, right away fly through the Eiffel Tower. Why not? All right, but we're already in the skies. It's looking like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Hopefully we don't die today, because uh, yeah, I'm hoping at least some of these crazy stunts that I can think of will be an actual success. All right, for the ease of navigation for right now, I just turned on our directional waypoint. So we are 12 miles away from our point of interest, which is, of course, the Eiffel Tower down there. I also have other points of interest on. I don't know what Lee Borget is. If you do, let me know in the comments below. It's probably an airport or something. But yes, of course, you can totally navigate this game the, the real way by using GPS coordinates and, uh, of course, directional aids. But, uh, I'm not gonna do that for right now. I'm just all about exploring this be very beautiful world and having some simple fun today. And my god, this game is beautiful. I should also mention, uh, this game is using real-world weather. It's also using actual air traffic. So, uh, for example, if you are in an airport, it's using real-world data, uh, to tell you if your lane's open and whatnot. You can e enable that or disable it. There is so much to this game, and obviously it is a 1-1 one -one scale of the world. So what you're seeing in Paris is exactly what you would expect to see in Paris. Um, oh, I'm going a little too fast. All right, well, we'll drop down the throttle a little bit. Because I don't want to go higher in the air. I want to, you know, stay low to the ground, because we're going to have to stay low to the ground sooner or later here. But yeah, as you can see up ahead, that little speck on the screen is the Eiffel Tower, and that's where we're going for the start of this. Oh man, this is gonna be my most beautiful death on this channel, I'll tell you that much. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. It's so much lower than I thought. I mean, it's a tower, but all around it are giant buildings, as you can see. I'm just trying not to uh, clip any of them right now. I do have a good angle. I can go right through. That's the goal, at least. I don't know if that will happen or not, but we'll see in a second here, because we're only two miles away. Okay, this is so much lower than I thought. Should I go for the lower part or that kind of mid-tier part? The mid-tier part, I obviously don't risk hitting the ground as much. It's hard to tell if I even have access to the lower part. All right, let's zoom my camera in a bit. This, I think this is doable. Highly illegal, but definitely doable. Oh, should I go to the bottom? I feel like I'm going at the wrong angle here. I didn't realize there'd be a building right beside this. I've never been to the Eiffel Tower for the record. This is my first time, and I'm flying through it, damn it. Oh, God, here we go. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm going for the bottom. Oh, this is this is way bigger than I thought. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, I, I was worrying for nothing. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, can we go for a second one here? Let's try it out. I'm going to speed it up and may maybe go for that top part. Ah, there's the view I recognize. I clearly came in from the wrong side. Ah, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go for the top part now. See if we can get through a little bit of a tighter space. I think we should be fine. This is a rather small plane. And yeah, we can wave to all the tourists up there who are probably freaking out right now. All right. Oh, God, there we... Oh, man, that was tighter than I thought. Damn it. It looks like I'm in the middle. All right, gas up. Tip wings. Oh my god. Nope. Not happening. I am not skilled enough for that. Let's at least see if we can land this bad boy in the center of Paris somewhere, though. Hopefully I don't hit a car. But this is looking like a pretty good roadway here. 
obviously I'm gonna have a really hard landing. I actually throw my flaps up. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Well, what am I doing? Why am I doing all this? Okay, hold on. Hold on, we might be able to do it. Watch out! How do you say watch out in French? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, watch out! I'm coming in! Holy crap, I did it! Okay, why, why is there trees everywhere? Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> okay, so clearly there's no collisions with the cars. <laughs> but I landed in the middle of France. Oh, they're, they're hover cars. That's impressive. Well, I think that's France in a nutshell, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our maiden voyage. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Oh, okay, bye, bye truck. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to another weird challenge. Okay, so there's these um, weekly or I guess bi-weekly challenges where you compete against all the other players to see how good you can do at landing planes. Well, it depends on what the challenge is, I guess. It's not always probably going to be landing. But for this first one, it is. And we're going to... Oh, I'm sorry again. Corshev... Corshevel? Corshevel Altiport. I'm sorry if I said that totally wrong. It's a ski resort in the French Alps, though, so we're going to stay in France. Uh, the airfield has a very short runway. There's no go-around procedure, so basically you have to fly right in and hopefully you don't crash into the damn mountains. Actually, it shows it right here. Perfect. So, yeah, usually you fly around the airport. Uh, with this one, I guess you can't do that. Okay, and here we are in the beautiful French Alps, and uh, there is our target. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful here. I'm probably going to die here, but at least it's a beautiful place. Um, yeah, hard to kind of gauge how small this truly is, but that looked really, really small. And I can't even see our target. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, yeah, I do have visual. We really don't have any runway. So the way the scoring works is how close you are to the edge of the runway when you land. Obviously, how soft your landing is. Basically, if you can make a comfortable landing, you're doing a good job. So going to do my best. I haven't... Oh Look at how beautiful. God. Okay, so yeah, this game is clearly very, very pretty. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die here probably, but I'm going to do my best. So I've lowered my engine down quite a bit. It's looking like our altitude's dropping at a pretty good rate. I don't want to go too slow. Okay, I think I'm turning too quickly here. Let's, let's just go for it. We'll see what happens. I think I lowered my engine a little too much because uh, I have lost a lot of altitude. So I'm going to speed it up a bit. That is not the angle you want. That is not a nice angle. Let's throw up my flaps, though. All right, this is going to be a hairy landing. I'll tell you that much. I'm still a little sideways. There we go. Let's straighten it out. Throw that engine way down. Oh, my God. I might actually do it, though. I mean, even if I can land it, I'll be happy. Oh, I'm going too slow, I think. Yep, that beep tells me it's probably going to be a hairy landing. Here we go. Oh, lift it. Lift it. I'm fighting, basically falling out of the air. Okay, okay. That was not in the center. <laughs> I almost fell off the damn runway, but I didn't kill myself, so that's good. How did I do? So I did 145,000. Now, I already did that once, and uh, I did 313. I could tell you that my other landing was way better. All right, welcome to Japan, ladies and gentlemen. We're in a Cessna 208B this time, a little bit of a bigger aircraft. Ultimate goal is to find Mount Fuji today. Now, I know it's somewhere in the southwest of here. Aside from that, it should be pretty easy to spot. It is the biggest mountain in Japan, after all, so I didn't actually put it in my coordinates. I thought it'd be fun to actually try and explore and see what we can find. So, yeah, never flown this plane. Definitely the most high-tech plane that I've flown. Hopefully, I don't regret this, but, um, yeah, actually, let me see what assistance I have on right now. Uh, I think I had it on medium, so... You know what? Let's put it on hard. So this is true to life. If everything's hard, it's true to... Oh, this might be a bad idea. Okay, I, 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 was, I was doing okay on medium. For the record, I've had it on medium this whole time. Oh, I have to do a checklist now? How the hell do you expect me to find this stuff? Okay, maybe I think I can turn the, the checklist on. I'm definitely not prepared for checklisting, at least for right now. That should be in... Is it user experience? Ah, there we go. Assisted checklist. I also turned on air traffic control to AI because I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because <laughs> I am definitely not a pilot. Okay. So, auto complete item, page complete. I think we're good to go now then, right? Ignition on. Power leveler. Idle. Let's give it all the power. Oh, God. This might have been a bad idea. Okay. Um, let's get back to my original view. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I hope that's all I had to do. Clearly, you know, this might be a little too hard for me, but hey, I'm all for a challenge, baby. 
Okay, definitely a little bit more hairy, but that's fine. I've taken off in true to life physics. Is that it right there? That's, that can't be right there. Because it was supposed to be south from here. No, I think that's just an ordinary pleb mountain. We need to find Mount Fuji, so we gotta go to the south now. We're gonna take this slow because I can probably break the plane a lot easier now. Ah, that's it. I knew it'd be easy to spot. Is that southwest-ish? Yeah, that's gotta be it. I mean, it's got white caps on the top. I hope none of you are pilots because you're probably laughing at me now. I got things like beeping on my thing here. Don't really care though. I mean, it's in the air. That's the important part. And I can somewhat fly it. All right, well, we're in the air gaining altitude. Trim seems to be stable. I am constantly turning to the left. I'm assuming that's due to prop wash and I don't really know how to fix that. I'm assuming there's some sort of computer system to do that, but I'm constantly just fighting it. I'm fine with that as long as I can stay in the air. The Thought I'd stop by Tokyo just to check out the sheer scale of the vastness of Tokyo. Like, you can't even see the edges of the city here. This is... This is absolutely crazy. Never been to Tokyo as well. This game is taking me to a lot of places today. Anyways, next stop, Mount Fuji. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And my god, this thing is massive. We're still pretty far away. <laughs> and it looks like we're right by it, but we're really not. I guess there's a reason why you can see it all the way back in Tokyo. So to be fully transparent, I didn't realize how far this was away, so I kind of teleported us ahead a bit. Um, so yeah, we're much closer to it now. And I don't know who these lucky people are to live here, but this will be a beautiful place to live. So yeah, goal is obviously to reach the tip, but maybe even land up there somewhere. I don't know if that's gonna be possible with this bigger plane, but hey, we'll try our best and see what happens. All right, here's the last little bit of humanity before the big climb up. Now I have been getting warned that I'm going to stall, so I'm gonna try and gain some altitude here before I actually have to, for the obvious reason of a mountain in front of us. As you can see, it's yelling at me. I, I am not a pilot, guys. Obviously, I need to keep my speed up, but I also need to start climbing. I don't know if we're gonna reach the top. We've already technically been going up the mountain. I've gained about 1,500 meters of altitude already, and it's only gonna get worse from here. Okay, it's just my airspeed is going so slow, so I'm gonna try and kind of wrap around and corkscrew around the mountain, because I'm not gonna be able to fly straight up. Uh, if I get below 50 knots, we are screwed. If you look at the side profile of the plane, you can see why I'm stalling so much. Even going to what seems to be, you know, somewhat flat, uh, I'm still gaining altitude like crazy. <laughs> so, it's just the size of this thing is ridiculous. All right, wrapping around the north part of the uh, mountain now. I'm almost out of the tree zone and into the snow cap zone. Uh, 7,200 feet up now. This is... This, this is a lot harder than I expected. Still trying to get out of the tree zone. Almost there. Obviously, the incline is absolutely ridiculous now. We're at 8,900 feet. It's, Tokyo is right ahead of us somewhere. Um, it's looking like we're starting to get into the white zone now. I honestly, I should probably have Googled how tall this is to know kind of how long this is gonna take. But I've been climbing this thing for about 20 minutes now. That doesn't include, you know, flying here. That's just sheer climb. Stall. Stall. Shut up, plane. I know I'm almost stalling. I've been almost stalling this whole damn time. Stall. But Stall. look it. Stall. We are almost at the freaking Stall. top. Stall. Holy crap, I am so excited right now. Stall. Shut up! I'll speed up a bit. Sorry. Stall. And there it is. Now, if you don't know, Mount Fuji is an active volcano. I don't remember the last time it's exploded. Probably thousands and thousands of years. But can we <laughs> land inside of it? That is the question I want to know now. We have made it up. We're 12,500 up now. I did Google it. It's like 12,300 something uh, feet up. So that's exciting. What's more exciting is the fact that we actually were able to climb that. So I'm going to slow down my engine now, try and actually try and land up here, which is going to be easier said than done. Okay, this is about as good as we're going to get it. Go back to this view. I turned down the engine, put up the flaps. There we go. Now, now I put up the flaps. That was the wrong button. Clearly, I am a professional, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is dumb. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I am not gonna be able to do this. Yeah. No. 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 Crap. Five hundred. We're going in, man. We are going 
Into Mount Fuji. Oh, should I lift up and try and do the other side? Holy crap, how- okay. Okay, this is- this is stupid. Come on, we can do it! Come on, that was a nice landing! I damaged my landing gear, God damn it! Alright, well, surprise, surprise, trying to land in Mount Fuji is not the best idea. And on that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode of Microsoft Flight Sim here. Now let me know what you guys thought of this, I honestly went into this expecting just to have some simple fun for an episode and never play it again, but... I've kind of fallen in love with it. Um, I never expected to do that, I mean, I'm not a huge pilot fan, uh, but I think this game has kind of ignited something in me. So if you guys want to see some more of these, let me know in the comments below. We can do, you know, weird weather conditions, we can go to other cool places in this world to explore. Yeah, ba basically suggest some stuff for me, and uh, maybe I'll do another episode where we try and fly in other weird conditions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.